Hello, this is Andrew, and here's another video. In the last video, I basically demonstrated an audio project. Within that video, I kind of talked about doing stuff using uh, the VGA in uh, the Linux operating system on the Zybel board. And doing VGA stuff is not new to me. In the past, I uh, in the past I made my own VGA card that basically ran off of a single resolution, and I did that using standalone. In this in this project, I'm basically using the uh, the Digiland example. In their example, they, they have their own XI display core and they can use it to actually drive the HDMI too. But in this example, since I didn't, you know, I don't actually have an HDMI a monitor that uses HDMI, I, I just default to just using the VGA. So the project basically consists of getting their example design to work, but in Linux, their original application was written for standalone, of course. So basically I just took their driver and adapted it to Linux. And that also includes uh, the driver for the, the VDMA, which of course is originally written for standalone. But I just basically modified it a little bit. That way it could run in user space in a Linux application. So I, I've yet to actually learn how to make a Linux driver. But for now, this, you know, this gets the job done. So first part of the project now I'm going to run the Digilint original example application. So anybody who's familiar with their base design should basically recognize this interface. And the nice thing about it is that you can change the resolution to a resolution that actually works with this monitor, which is really nice. So you know, I can like change the color, change between two different uh, patterns. Uh, yeah, there's the other pattern. And that's basically it. For the second part of this demonstration, this is the application that I wrote, which uses the same driver, but everything else is different. Well, you know, the, the main function is basically different. But of course, this is their pattern. I just kind of used that same pattern here. But then I added my own pattern. And that's basically it. Uh, just briefly. You know, here is it's a real again. I'm just basically adapted their design into my design. So I'm using the VDMA, which of course is you know, I believe that's something developed by Xilinx. But this here, I believe, is developed by Digilent since you know, they came with the um, the Digilent base design. Another interesting thing, uh, without realizing it, there's actually I think the better way of going about connecting the the VGA. Like using the VGA or the HDMI or having any kind of display port. I think a better way of doing that in Linux, at least using Peta Linux, is using the AXI Thin Film Controller, which I learned about it earlier, like before I did the project, but I wrongly assumed that I like I didn't have access to it, but apparently I do. So maybe in a future project I'll take the time to learn it and you know see how well that works. And I'm assuming it might work better since I'm pretty sure there is a uh, there's a Linux driver for it. Like I wouldn't have to do this whole user space driver thing that I'm doing now and getting this stuff to work. But that's something I'll have to look into in a future project. And well, that's basically it. Thanks to those who took the time to watch this video.